security guards, prison guards in the film. And I said to him, like, I'd rather play a convict if that's okay. And, and you liked the idea at the time. And I, I have to write, like, outside, like, 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 I would say this is like uh, we are very bad musicians. We cannot play any instrument at all. But uh, one uh, nice day I figure out that I could play something and I try to play some you know, like many ridiculous notes and those small uh, 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 What role do you see yourself playing? That would be your ideal role. I think you played that already though. Yeah, that was a dragon. That was a dragon. I think I would like to play a a supporting character. That's awesome. See, that's the story you always want to hear. You want to hear about a hit up in a, in a set, playing an extra, and the director goes, hey, you, I like you. They pull you in and they actually put you in a role. <laughs> and get away with it. Yeah, he has no finger, but I have a 
short fingers. I try to be like him, but it's never done like this. So you that's, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Show the enthusiasm yeah. for it. That's what counts. You know what I'm saying? Happiness is about, you know, when you make a connection, it's about actually being enthused about the work. You know, don't be so laid back that you're, you're going to miss the part. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to ask. You're going to be shy. What's the point? Is asking about being shy? No, it's about getting out there. Yeah, come on out, though. We're showing uh, what the fun of Sam. Check us out on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Let's be friends. If you're, you're interested, yeah, if you're interested in our music, we could send you an invitation on Facebook. This is a very, very uh, convenient way to uh, present our band and our music. So uh, feel free to enjoy our page on Facebook. Sounds good. Yeah, one final note. At some point, these guys are actually going to put together some kind of score for an upcoming sitcom that Dag is actually doing. So we'll tell you more about that later. Yes, this is news to him, but he knows. Is uh, the pack premiering? No, the pack is premiering April 14th. Come on, get in there. Yeah. <laughs> the pack is premiering April 14th. And unfortunately, Steve is in it, but there is snippets of his music in it. So if you like hard rock, you know what I'm saying? You're going to hear a little bit of it, and it's like really catchy, like little scenes, like, you know, it really pulls you in for a second. Like, you hear hard guitar. And it comes to the next scene. So that's all his work. Ask a question. 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 Ask a in your film as well? Yes, he is. Jeff plays. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably hip hop Eric, but it's not. It's, the character actually called Eric Fabian, and he's kind of like a, a challenged kid, but at the same time, he's got a lot of heart. And uh, I really like the fact that he brought like a real urban flavor to it. It was like, sure, sure. I, I even don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But he's talking about that's a completely ridiculous story. Big news for me. All right. I don't know what to say. And this is crazy. I cannot say. Please thank you everybody for this good uh, Grammy. Uh, That's Father and Sam right there. I think, you know, it's just a birth or since you were born. Guys, introduce yourselves. Happy to be here. I love it. 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 I'm sticking with it. Yeah. It was the right character for it, and it's like I took the hip hop off because I said that's too much of a typecast thing, you know sure. what I'm saying? Just, and I gave him like last year the character for Fabian, and Eric was Fabian, there he is. So, yeah, so how'd you feel playing that role? Uh, first of all, that whole, the way the whole story went down was a blessing because uh, we have a mutual friend, and she was telling me, you know, I know this guy, he's filming a movie. And so, I said, okay, well, tell him, we'll get in contact and I'll, I'll see where this goes. The same day. Not, not tomorrow, but the same day, within a couple of hours, probably four at the most, he comes to my establishment. And he says, I'm looking for Jeff Sanders. I said, I'm Jeff Sanders. And he tells me who he is. And you know how sometimes you get a chance to do something and someone puts you on the spot? Is either you're gonna do it or not. Yeah, you yeah, say you yeah. want to be an actor. Okay, this guy has a part for you. Are you gonna do it or not? Mm -hmm. I said yes. He said, well, cool. He said, well, listen, here's my name, my number. Here's some of the stuff that I've done in the past. Go to IMDb. And he let me know that he was official right away. And so right from there, he says, listen, Wednesday, this place, this time, this is where we're going to be. Can you make it? And I said, you know what? I got time, and this is something that I want to do. I'm going to pursue it. And Right from there. So what is, what is your dream role? Yeah. My, oh, my dream role is to play. I'm gonna be honest, but you know what? It's, Go for it. Okay, to play Cleopatra. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to play. Uh, 
now we've been, we just, the rules are rolling. And it's funny because, you know, the saying, if you build it, it will come. A lot of things have been coming right before my eyes. And it's just rolling. It won't stop. I've, I've done that project. Um, I did stuff for Brandon Jacobs, who has an energy drink out called Pro NRG. And you can go to ProNRG.com. They have it in the 7-Elevens right now. And I've been steadily working since the first month of the So when you see yourself in your <laughs> this year, and I've been doing projects, and he and I are in cahoots right now to do a romantic comedy. All right, and, uh, it's coming along. That's, that's next. Good. That's next. Should that be revealed? We're actually talking right now about how Dad got formed. This is Mary. She asked me the question: How did you get formed? So I'm answering. Um, <laughs> And a little sooner we're still writing on it, but apparently I was definitely going to reveal it to you guys with any action for it. Um, you know, it's like, it's another time. <laughs> right it's, it's, it's really, it's, kind of, it's, it's in the outline form, but it's the kind of thing where we have everything set up from the beginning and all the ups and downs. And I'll tell you the key to what the story was telling you before, why I, I, I moved so quickly with you. He's a great actor, great talented, but also it's called desperation. An artist, not just actors. Um, and from there, I, I said, hey, let's move on the video. There's more people out there that would be interested in being part of the And then we decided, hey, we were doing auditions all the time. Let's share auditions with each other. And then from there, it turned it into, hey, why should we just go to auditions? Why don't we make some of our own projects? <laughs> so I was in the middle of filming, and the person that wanted to film couldn't make it. And it was the kind of thing where I, I, I bumped to Lisa, Lisa Rawlings, and she was like, Lisa Rawlings. And that's the reason why that same day I showed up at his establishment. I was like, uh, is there a dress on <laughs> I, there was actually a question I wanted, just to backtrack for a quick second. Sure. When this guy came up to you and said, I'm looking for Jeff, you didn't even get spooked at all, not even for a minute? Did <laughs> <laughs> you start thinking, maybe I owe this guy money? <laughs> I think we all feel that way. Yeah. 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 So the idea is we showcase we get your talent We need a bunch of wonderful people. We put some of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom up here. Um, so we decided we'd start also casting some people from the movie. And we'd also start doing some of our own projects. And this is one of those projects. Right now this is a documentary, it's an episode. And now we're gonna talk about when he came in, he looked around. And by the way, the, the, uh, the establishment that I have is a laundromat. Ah. So when he came in the laundromat, the way he looked around, I was thinking, okay, maybe this guy's interested in buying them. Like, oh, 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 oh. He's like, definitely not doing laundry. I'm not, I'm not selling anything. You know, I'm not selling the business. I don't know what he wants. But, he, but, but see, he came up to me, and he was very professional. And, you know, and he was just cool as ice. It was like it was like, it was like he was just so chill about everything. And I said, it's because he's at his work right now, you know. I, you know, I sat there and I said, when I walked over to him, I was like, okay. And I'm like being, you know, filmmaker, being like, sure, yeah, yeah. You're hyping know? up the film. The yeah, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of like he's really exuberant. And he's like, you know, yeah. So I started acting a couple of years ago. Just did what you do with that epic Shakespeare play, which was awesome. It's a fantastic, and the two river I'm an understudy. And just moving along and meeting people like you that's kind enough to invite me and hearing about it. It's all about us. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He's, he's, he's the owner of his, uh, I, I can't make him react, you know what I'm saying? He does all the time. Yes. I, I'm, I'm a producer, yes. and this and that, and yeah. you know, that's why it's good to have IMDB, because I'll pull you up, bro. You tell me you did this episode, and you were in this scene, and you were this guy. Sorry. Research. Yeah, research. Right. Anybody that wants to be an actor, I tell you, it's a dream, and it can come true, no matter who you are, where you're from. And, uh, it's in your heart, it's in your mind. That's right. So, first of all, the school, I've a lot of research about this school. How long have you been in this question? Well, I initially, I guess the curriculum now, 2008, I've been doing it part time for since then. That's fantastic. Start some more stories. I'm going to have some more So, projects again. Is there anyone that stands out that you want to talk about? I just finished Channel 99 that was submitted to Comedy Central, and I played a drunken newscaster, which was really a hot fun since I don't drink. So it was a great challenge, but we had a lot of fun. Some of our was not picked up, but it's a and Do you remember any of the lines? I just remember. Do you know where I'm going with this? A little off. You know. I'm just waving to everybody. And you need a good core, a good foundation. Even with the rock music, whatever you're trying to do, any career, first of all, you gotta love yourself. Right. And you just go out there and things will open up for you. You might not have the nail tomorrow, but when it comes full circle, you'll know. Because you'll get a feeling in your heart and your mind, and you meet people on different scales, from different walks of life, and you form a union. Yeah, first we meet another person. I met Andrew. He uh, invited me to his room. He was great to work with. Andrew Darr. 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 Union things will happen. Hey, Before sir. you know it, work that. You'll be tagged for story. Ten years Watch from now, that. people who never forget it. Hey, this is the person from this and that, and they'll start to see it. It's a small business. Yeah, it's a really small business. And you keep shrinking. One thing that I'm, I'm notorious for is being on time and remembering my mind. All right. Anybody that I ever worked with, any producer, director, any actor, actress. I tell you, this guy's always on time, and he always knows his lines. Kind of funny, he was one of the earliest people on the set that day. <laughs> but the, the funny thing about it was only like, what, four blocks from your house. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you've already had, uh, just with him being an actress, both that, and the whole thing with the blocks about something, uh, I want to grow my mind for the, the actress uh, in the business. Uh, the tough moment that I had is normal. Uh, I was doing a commercial shoot, and uh, unfortunately the director was about four hours behind and took their anger out on the entire staff, fired somebody on the spot, and yelled at me and yelled at everyone, and something like that. You just have to have a good sense of humor about it. They're feeling like that. They're having a bad day. They're behind. And you just let it go. <laughs> you could have lied. <laughs> Oh, I'm coming from there. I'm coming from <laughs> Afghanistan, <laughs> man. <laughs> I remember one thing. When I said, remember the, uh, we call it, we, we both met today, and we both agreed on a two-hour rule. Wherever you're going to, try to get there two hours early. Why? Okay, the first hour that you're there, wherever the place is at, you can sit down and you soak that place up like a sponge. You become that place. It was time to relax. Oh, welcome, welcome. Come on in. And the next hour, boom, that's when it starts. Yeah, I've been acting for a while now. It's been uh, a great experience, a great growth experience. Uh, expanded my my orbit of comfort. What made you move to LA? If not, found out what I'm made of and where I want to be. Is now. All I see is my nipples running out of way. It's recently shot a short oh, film this past it. weekend, and it was super convenient to come over. And uh, I got to play like the devil. Tell your story. I was really telling it. I played two roles in the past. But you left home by the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. Mary Tyler. 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 Mary Tyler
He's a great man. Very, I can see the devil. He's a very, very conflicted guy. He's just a great thing, but it's just a uh, weird thing where I thought I was going to be able to portray a downtrodden character better than I Hopefully, if it's a good Yeah, 
Maria Palados, would you look at the camera and say your name and say, That right there is the hallmark of an actor's attitude. You've got to keep an actor going and succeeding. You've got to stay positive. Because bad things aren't going to happen on the set. You've got to work with asshole directors. And yes, I use the A word, but you will. Uh, you will work with people on the business, in the business, that aren't always kind and considerate. But you just you must run. Just be fine. Just be fine. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, wonderful. 